Nicole is a 14-year-old girl who has recently been put into Jen's group home. Nicole's mother has recently missed the last handful of visits with her daughter due to trying to get herself back on the right path. Although the group home knows Nicole's mother loves and cares about Nicole very much, Nicole can't help but feel differently. Nicole has a long history of mental health issues and extreme suicidal thoughts. Although Nicole has made some very close friendships in the group home, she often can't help but feel hopeless and all alone. Everybody else in the group home knows and loves Nicole and knows that she's a wonderful kid. This is really terrible. My life is so terrible. I don't know what to do with my life. Hey, Nicole, are you okay? Oh, leave me alone. I don't know what you want. Just leave me. I'm feeling very miserable and awful. Nicole, I can clearly see that you're upset. Can you explain to me what's wrong? I'm just upset, okay? Can you just leave me alone? I know you don't care and you don't give a shit about me. Nicole, I care about you and your safety more than you know. Can you please tell me why you're so upset? Oh my goodness. If I tell you why I'm upset, what are you going to do? How are you going to help me? Nobody has been able to help me all my life. I feel so bad about this whole world. I don't know what to do. Well, maybe I can try and help you if you explain to me. Can you tell me what's wrong? Oh God, you've come again. Everybody wants to know what's wrong with me and no one can help me. It's all about my mother. You see, today she didn't come, she didn't show up. She's been doing this all her life. She has never shown any time that she cares. I don't know why she have such a mother. I don't know what's really happened to her. I just hate everything about me. I hate everything about her. I hate everything about you. Just leave me alone. Just hate my life and I just don't want to do it again. I don't want to live again. I'm just, I hate everything. What do you mean you can't do it anymore? I don't want to be here anymore and I just want to die. I just want to kill myself. Why am I living? When things don't work for me like as it, as it is for other children, why am I here? Can I ask you why you think so? I feel every day. I can't do it anymore. What do you mean you can't do it anymore? I mean, I can't do it anymore. I just want to die. I just want to kill myself. I'm tired. Can I ask you why you feel that way? Why don't you want to be here anymore? Oh, God. Don't you get what I'm trying to say? Mom let me down every time. She's been doing this all my life. I've never had any happy moment all my life. And I'm here, I can see children having good life. Their parents come around, but she doesn't come. Nobody cares about me, so why am I here? Why am I alive? Okay, I understand. So you're upset that mom didn't show up again, and you just think it would be easier if you weren't here anymore? Yeah. Okay, I understand. I really just want you to know that everybody here really does care about you and we do support you. You have made some really amazing relationships here and I know the other kids here love and care about you more than you'll ever know. You're never alone, Nicole. No, everybody cares about me, but my mom doesn't care. So what do you want me to do about that? I'm not gonna be here all my life. I have a mother, but she doesn't care. So why should I be alive? I know it seems that way, but your mom's trying her hardest to improve herself and her life for you. Your mom does care about you. I know, but I wish she can just come and see me today. Why can't she just come for one time? Just this one time, I need her. I know, and I understand. I know you wish that she came to see you today, but hopefully next time she'll come. She does care about you, and she is working really hard to improve herself for you. I know that. She's always working. Now, would you mind talking to me about your suicidal thoughts? I guess so. Okay, would you mind explaining to me what those thoughts are? Now, the thing is, I don't necessarily want to die or kill myself, but I can't help but think how much easier things would be if, it, if I wasn't here. I understand. Do you feel it's a possibility that you would act on these thoughts? I don't know, really. I want you to know that I do care about you, and everybody here does. We care about your safety more than you'll ever know. And we'll always be here for you. You are a really great kid, Nicole. Oh, thank you, Jen. You know, this talk has really made me to feel a little bit better, and I think I'm going to like it here. Thanks for everything. Of course. Jen. I'll always be here for you, Nicole. Thank you. Nicole is a 13 years old girl 
that has been in care since she was three years old. No one could actually trace her real parents. She was found in an abandoned car on the outskirts of the city. She was placed in care by the city police. All, all her life, she has been very troubled and always through tantrum. This behavior has made it very difficult for her to be kept by any family that tries to keep her or adopt her. At the age of five, she always runs away from, from the home and even from school. She was once found again by the police at the age of seven when she ran away from the family who adopted her after five months. She never uh, could forget her mother. She always tells you she's finding her mother. At the age of nine, she was raped by a gang of boys when she was out in the night. And this time, she started feeling awful about her life. And we always tell people she does not want to leave and hates her life and wants to kill herself. <laughs> What's going on here? What's happening to you, Nicole? Nothing. What's happening? I'm just upset. Oh. Can you please calm down and talk to me about what's going on? Just leave me alone. I hate my life. Oh, what do you mean by you hate your life? You are with us here, so you have to be happy. What's happening to you? Can we talk about it? God, fine. It's not like you care anyways. I do care. That's why we're here. We're here because of you. I come here every day just because of you to see that everything about you is okay. Hmm? We want you to get the kind of future you want. Huh? So don't be upset about whatever is going on. Just let's talk about it. We are here to make sure that everything works out for you, okay? Trust me. Everything is going to be fine. So because you are new here, you've had children with different issues, but they all came out good, and they are happy where they are now. So you, yours can be an exception, I promise you. Trust me. I just want to leave. Yeah, why do you want to leave? What's the issue? Can we just talk about it? You're just saying that. You're just saying that. Do you know what it's like to be me? Do you know what it's like to not have any parents? Or to just be randomly assaulted by different boys? Mm. Or just to not understand anything in class? I hate my life. I just want to die. No, I understand where you're coming from. That's why we're here, I told you. You know, you, you, you already said what is in your mind and... I assure you, we're going to see what we're going to do about it. Life is beautiful. Life is good. So you just hold on and we'll walk around it. What do you really want us to do? What do you want? And what do you mean by you hate your life? Why can you say you hate your life? Life is good. You know, you are here with us and you know we do a lot of things together which you enjoy. So when you're having these low moments, always come back to me. I told you, you know, so what do you mean by you hate your life? Yeah. I just hate my life. Nothing. There was nothing good about it. Life isn't beautiful. It sucks. I just. I'm new here, and I feel like I'm all alone all the time. No, you're not alone. You're not alone. I've told you. Anytime you want any attention or you have something bothering you, just come to me. Don't say you hate your life. Life is good. Your life is beautiful. You remember when you came in here? You, you remember how how you you. You, we've been trying to see to make things work out for you and you remember the promise you made to me that you you love me so you can't say you hate me now you hate your life you love yourself even though you don't have a mom you don't have parents we are here for you but i sure you will see all we can do to make sure that your life is beautiful okay so you hold on yeah. okay mm -hmm. i understand i just wish that things were a bit easier so what do you want us to do? What do you think? How do you think we can make things better for you? You talked about oh, all the past experiences, or oh, you had back before you came in here, your education and all that. But I tell you, we're going to make sure we work with your school and make sure everything you're, you, you're having issues with are settled. And you're going to forget your past. We're going to make this place a beautiful place for you that you can... You can dream again. You can hope again. 
who can help you get to a future you're really thinking about because you're a very good girl you know i like the way you the way you do your things i know you want you you want you want a good life i, I know the kind of things you want we've talked about before how you want to go on trips how you want to go to the park which and i see how how you are looking forward to a bright future you want to have a family like you told me before you want to have your own children and you make sure you take care of them we're going to do all that we're going to make you go back to school and you we help you with anything you're struggling with so trust me mm -hmm. okay i will trust you guys i'm sorry i just have troubles trusting people sometimes but i'm gonna try and work on it i do like it here it's just sometimes i get really upset and i say things that i don't mean yeah i'll stick my word for it you're gonna be good here you're gonna like it here thank you my dear thank you